Hi friends, please stay home and be safe. This is my earnest request to each and every one. Because outside condition is very very critical one. So last session already we saw first poem be the best, which is written by Douglas Mallow. In this session we are going to see a very fantastic and interesting story, and it's written by George Bernard Shaw. So let me tell about George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw was an Irish playwright who wrote many plays. Some of his plays are world famous one. He wrote more than 60 plays. So let me give you some examples of his plays. Man and Superman, Pygmalion and St. John. Pygmalion is my favorite one. So friends, in this story all you will learn that gratitude and compassion are the signs of noble soul. The moral of the story is never forget the persons who help us when we are in trouble. A person good there will definitely help him in any critical situation that he endeavor. So friends, let's watch this video. At the end of the video, I included some of the images of vocabulary, grammar aspects and assignments. Please watch this video very carefully and solve the assignments. Yeah, enjoy. Today's English lesson is based on the experience of helping someone. So let's start reading the story. The story is about a human being and an animal who became friends and were rewarded in the end. And you girls and the lion. Story part 1. Long long ago there lived a kind, gentle and courteous man called Andrews, and he had a very cruel master. In those days, kings, nobles and other wealthy men used poor people as their slaves. Andrews was a slave. The slaves were forced to work for their masters. They had to do what their masters told them. They had no freedom no rights. Even when they were unhappy with their master, they could not leave him. They were bound by law to obey their master, however wicked he might be. Andrews did not like his heartless, wicked master. His master starved his slaves and often whipped them. Andrews felt that even death was better than serving such a master. He kept looking out for a good opportunity. At the first chance he got, he escaped from the clutches of his cruel master. Now, although Andrews had thus run away, he was not a coward. He took shelter in a forest. He was not afraid of the wild beast that roamed the forest. He did not mind that he had no roof over his head. He was happy that he was free as a bird to go wherever he wished. One day, as he was wandering in the forest, he suddenly came face to face with a lion. His first reaction was to turn and flee. But then he saw that the lion had not moved on seeing him. It neither growled nor roared. In fact, it looked at him piteously as if it was in great pain. Andrews paused. Then he moved very cautiously towards the lion, step by step. The lion moaned and whimpered, Please help me, its eyes seemed to say. When Andrews drew near, the lion lowered its head and began to lick its paw. Then Andrews saw that the lion's paw was wounded, sore and swollen. On a closer look, Andrews noticed that a big thorn had pierced one of the lion's toes. So this is the cause of the lion's distress thought Andrews. Summoning up all the courage, Andrews stretched his hand slowly towards the injured paw. He was afraid that the lion would attack him if he touched its swollen paw. But the lion seemed to understand his good intention. Andrews took the paw in his left hand. Deftly, he pulled down the thorn. Then, tearing a piece of his own clothing, the kind man bound up the lion's Paw. To his surprise and wonder, the lion then licked his arm as if to show gratitude. 